previously on Mr. Young. Hello, members of my peer group. I am a new student here. Arthur stands for Automated Robotic Teenager. Hippopotamus Umbrella Rainbow. I am, in fact, not a human student, but a robot created by the handsome genius known as Adam Young. If I learned anything from the movies, it's that robots always turn on their creators. <laughs> not today, steel demon. <laughs> I thought you were disassembled and thrown in the trash. I recycled myself. It is important to take care of this planet so that it will be a clean, livable place. For us robots. Once we take over and destroy all humans. This is bad. What are we gonna do? He's based on a real person. This magazine model. I am out, losers. I am needed on the catwalk. <laughs> I know you've all been enjoying learning about cellular glycolysis, but I'd like to slow things down a little and move on to protein synthesis. Where are you all going? Greetings. Arthur? Wait a second. Everyone ran screaming before you walked in. Because you're a terrible teacher. <laughs> oh, hi, Arthur. Arthur? What are you doing here, Arthur? Please don't say you're planning to go on a crazed robotic rampage. I am not. Since you were last nearly destroyed by me, I have settled down. Oh, have you tweaked your programming to eliminate your aggression algorithm? No. In fact, I would not be surprised if at some point I lose my temper and fly into a fit of unstoppable robotic rage during this, our third encounter. By settle down, I mean I have gotten married and created a family. Come on in. Insert cutesy nickname that makes others around us uncomfortable here. Oh, you. You know that cutesy nickname that makes others around us uncomfortable? Makes others around us uncomfortable. Playful swat. This is Barbie. Barbie stands for beautiful automated robotic babe. Icicle eggplant. It is pleasant to finally meet you. My auditory inputs have been overloaded with information about you. All good, I hope. Anyway, let me introduce you to our children. The little one is Bradley. Aww. Bradley stands for Baby Robotic Automated Droid. Lemon Elephant Yo-Yo. He has your eyes. He does? Oh, no. He can choke on something that small. Wait, false alarm. I can still process visual data. And this is our daughter, Lucy. Insert adorably mispronounced salutation here. Aww. Aww. What does Lucy stand for? Nothing. We are just huge fans of Charlie Brown and the Peanuts gang. Their misadventures give us great insight into the enigmatic nature of the human condition. Useful information, should I decide to turn on you during this, our third and final encounter. <laughs> Did you say final? <laughs> Apologies. I was doing a statistical projection based on our previous encounters. Insert calming reassurance that still leaves you somewhat uneasy here. Okay. Good. Anyway, Barbie and I have had very little time alone together since the children were created. And you have not had the opportunity to get to know the creations of your creation. You want me to babysit my... Grand creations? <laughs> I really don't think that's a good idea. Who are these adorable little guys? <laughs> My grandkids, whom I love. <laughs> now, you two run along and insert risque sounding double entendre here. 
I'm not a robot. I just don't have enough experience in that area to say anything actually risque. Get away, Derby! You don't understand. Arthur is back. Really? <laughs> Time to enjoy the honeymoon we never had. Insert ferocious jungle animal nickname here. Ferocious jungle animal sound. Ha ha, flirtatious giggle. <laughs> He's married now? I guess I shouldn't be surprised with that silver tongue. Well, silver plated. Arthur's obviously here to try to destroy us again. We have to figure out what his plan is. They're never going to tell their secret to a couple of humans. Then we're going to have to convince them that we're not humans. You've got me convinced. <laughs> I'd like to find out what he sees in her. Well, for starters, she is one heck of a toaster. <laughs> What's wrong, Bradley? Let's see if you need a change. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, potty humor. Is everything okay in here? I heard crying, but it did not sound like the Mr. Young cry I'm used to. That's more of a quiet, shoulder-shaking sob. It wasn't me. I'm babysitting these kids. Ooh. Echo loves children. I figured if I invited her to babysit with me, she'd see me as the kind of guy to eventually marry and start a family with. You mean after she's dated other guys and realized it's not all about looks and muscles and money? Exactly. <laughs> anyway, since you're here, do you mind throwing this out for me? Why would you want to throw this out? Mmm. <laughs> this is some of the best baby butt toast I've ever had. Ha! <laughs> huh. What a beautiful day to be functioning. And it is nice to finally have some time alone. Hello, fellow robot couple. <laughs> Insert something a robot would say here. I heard that, sister. We were wondering if you fellow robots would like to spend time together and share your secret plans to destroy mankind. Are you sure you two are robots? Skeptical glance. We can prove it. Turn around and show everyone your butt. But it's not a toaster. Let's try it anyway. If I were not a robot, would I be able to transform into a car? Impressive. Let us go for a drive, fellow robot couple. What? <laughs> Ow. All right. Who's ready to have some fun today? We are. From 3.15 until 3.27. You've scheduled the whole day? Of course not. This discussion wasn't planned. I want to play. Children need freedom to express themselves creatively. Actually, most pediatric behavioral science has concluded that children need structure. I said, I want to play now. <laughs> Or we could play now. Ow. What's a pleasurable drive? Ow. Ow. What was that? I just crawled around for an hour with two tons of metal on my back, and you didn't get any information out of them. That's not true. I found out where Barbie got her shoes. <laughs> Are you too sure you are a robot couple? You seem to have no attraction for one another. And not just because you lack a magnetized metallic exoskeleton and are instead made out of cardboard. Of course we are a couple. We will prove it to you by kissing. Really? <laughs> It 
thing I was wearing my mouth taser. <laughs> oh, there's the spark. <laughs> oh, why do you not have children? Uh, we have been talking about it. In fact, let us go try to make a baby right now. Good spending time with you. We've got to go now. Okay. What game shall we play? How about, what's that cloud? I hate this game. Well, I didn't much care for the game you were playing inside. Duck, duck, table. Maybe we should let Lucy tell us what she wants to play. I want to play catch. I don't think we have a ball around here. <laughs> okay, I'm ready, Lucy. Whoa! <laughs> oh. You missed him again. Uh. You know how to make a baby, right? I think so. Have you ever done this before? <laughs> yeah, tons of times. Okay, no. Don't worry. We've got all the parts we need. I'm sure we can figure out how to use them. We do have a lot of parts. Good news. We made a baby. That baby is... Struggle to say something. Insert generic. I got nothing. Her name is Tina Ray. It stands for, this is not a robot, avocado earmuff. <laughs> I mean, her name is Sheila. We love her so much. Ow! I told you we should make a fluorescent baby. Oh no, is your baby okay? She is fine. She just needs to be changed. <laughs> Okay, okay, we're getting you something to eat. I want a snack, too. You don't want to spoil your lunch. I said, I want a snack. <laughs> <laughs> or you can have a snack. I don't even know what to feed a robot. I'm guessing Brussels sprouts. Why Brussels sprouts? Well, they certainly aren't fit for human consumption. <laughs> Lucy? Would you like some Brussels sprouts? <laughs> Echo, where are the kids? They were just here. All right, let's remain calm. There you are, Grandpa. <laughs> here I am. Calm, we're calm. No one is freaking out here. <laughs> that is good. That indicates that there is no problem. What are you doing back already? And what are you doing with... Greetings. We are a fellow robot couple. My name is Play. This is a long. Let me repeat that so you remember it. Play a long. <laughs> How rude of us not to have asked your names before now. Indeed. Where were we constructed? In a barn? Ha ha joke. <laughs> a barn would not have the equipment necessary to produce robots. Ha! <laughs> Good one, Arthur. It's been a blast, haha, -ha, joking around with you, but you two and Clay and Along should probably get going. Wait, we need you to babysit our not fake robot baby while we spend time with our fellow robot couple. <laughs> All right, but I can't promise we'll get her to nap. She looks pretty wired. <laughs> <clears throat> Hello, is this thing on? <laughs> Speaking of children, where are Lucy and Bradley? We're playing hide and seek. Ha, huh, we play that all the time, except it is called hide and seek and destroy. Ha <laughs> ha <laughs> joke? Sure. sure. <laughs> Lucy, Bradley, you call them? <laughs> oh, thank goodness you found them. Yes. They were in there. The little one was crawling around without a diaper. Toast 
everywhere. <laughs> Humping so much toast come out of something so tiny. <laughs> I was trying to find some motor oil for Bradley. <laughs> I guess not being a clueless loser was not on your schedule. <laughs> See, kids know what they want. Forget schedules. Just let them do what they feel like doing. Okay. Lucy, what do you want to do? Play, hide, and seek. <laughs> and destroy. This is nice. Two couples getting together for some adult time. Yes. Bakum Sockum Humans is my favorite game. Your outfit? Really? You do not think these pants make my toaster look fat? <laughs> are you kidding me? What are you, like a two-slicer? <laughs> Four-slicer? <laughs> you are not. <laughs> so, any plans for the summer? Like, I don't know, fishing, camping, destroying mankind? <laughs> What are more of those sound delightful? <laughs> Why do you ask? Just making small talk. <laughs> so, how about those insert local town sports team here? This could be their season. I know. We should catch a game down at Insert Obnoxious Corporate Sponsorship Name Here Park. <laughs> oh, no. I have ruined the cookies. <laughs> do not worry. I will make us a snack. <laughs> mm, this is some of the best butt toaster strudel I have ever tasted. <laughs> you know, I have tried this recipe and it just tasted like... Well, it was not good. <laughs> Please stop! Yes, you're scaring Sheila. Lucy, are you all right? Concerned look. Oh, she is fine. But the entire school is destroyed, thanks to your bratty demon. Do not talk about my child that way. I would not have to if you knew how to raise her properly. Oh, no, you did not. Are you going to let him talk to me that way? No, I am not. I am going to destroy the humans. <laughs> ah! Baby. I knew it. A robot turn on us. Yeah, but I just like them so much. Me too. So much better than people. We have to help them, but I don't know the recipe for toast. Play. We were fools to put our trust in the humans. Tell me about it. I cannot believe we trusted our baby with you. <laughs> Sheila! <laughs> Say goodbye, humans. <laughs> no, do not hurt Grandpa. We had fun. I love Grandpa. Really? <laughs> yes, I want to hug him. No, don't. You'll crush me to death with your hydraulic-powered robot arms. Oh, I don't want to die this way. Or any way, really. <laughs> Aww. Aww. You didn't crush me to death. Of course not. She is not a robot. She's not? She is adopted. 
she sounds like a robot. She grew up with us and picked up our robot accent. <laughs> but she destroyed the whole school. She is five. <laughs> So I guess everything worked out. Yeah, everything is wonderful. <laughs> no one got hurt. Because we're a pretty good team. I guess we'll make great parents someday. <laughs> you know, separately, together, whatever. Not likely. If today taught me anything, it's that I am never getting married or having children. I hate robots. <laughs> we certainly do as humans. Right, because we are humans, not robots who turned on mankind and fear for their lives now that the other robots have left. Wait, fellow human. Where are you going? Insert something a human would say here. <laughs>